Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you have given me and just the validations to let me know, hey, I'm not going crazy. And these are the things that you were experiencing too. I've been getting so many downloads like crazy and I'm so blessed to be able to spread the message to you and just give you confirmation on the things that you're going through so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you are uh you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or also, you know, some good information that you need to share with another empath, go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share as well on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel as always and showing love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video uh, today well y'all have been saying for the uh, I told my daughter I've, I've kept my promise with her that I'm gonna go ahead and share her website I don't know if everybody's watching the same videos but this is like her her drawing that she did I'm so proud of her she's been drawing like that since she was a little girl uh, she got that from my dad I think because my dad's like very you know artistic like that um she's getting ready to start her, her book off where well, she's already got the books finished and everything but she needs to get it published and she only has 200 more dollars left to go she don't raise all the rest of it by herself which i'm so proud of her and i'll be posting her link down below so if you please can go ahead and check out her website and you know donate whatever you can it'll be greatly appreciated so today my meditation music i'm listening to it's called Meditation Music for Positive Energy, Clearing Subconscious Negativity, Morning Prayer, Healing Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Experiencing Astro Projection. You know, there's a lot of people that's been doing that. Y'all, I don't even know how I do that. You know, I'm not even going to go about how you do it. But there are some times that I've meditated, like, you know, if the energy is really strong, I can be able to connect with certain people that are like so connected like I remember the first time I did it with my dad it was so crazy it was like a couple of months after he had passed away and it was like I was smoking weed at the time um and it was like I'm getting ready to eat and I kept on hearing these these it's, it's like complaining clank, clank, clank. you know like some high heels you know tap tapping somewhere I, it was driving me crazy and I was asking my ex I'm like do you hear that he was like no I don't hear anything and I thought I was about to lose my mind like or unless I was just really high <laughs> and then he was like I said you sure you don't hear that he said girl you can smoke stop smoking and then the next thing you know it was like me him and my daughter was sitting there and then I kept hearing it and hearing it and it's like with my foyer where I used to do my you know my videos in where I was sitting at there there's like a door that separates from the foyer all the way into my my living room area that door was wide open and I see my dad and I didn't realize that's what that was my dad was coming through here and he seen this magazine that I had propped up but I covered the you know the the title of it and he's looking at it like I don't even want to know what they said about me and then he was looking at my daughter's father like who is that you know if anybody ever seen my dad make these little cricket faces you, you know he does that a lot and then he looked at my my daughter's father trying to figure out who that was and then he looked at my daughter which was so funny because he was like oh she's so cute and then he had this confused look on his face like hold up because my daughter anybody who's connected me connected to me on facebook if you see my youngest daughter my my, my baby looks just like my dad at you know at 18. Like, if anybody's been listening to my dad since the late 1970s and knew what he looked like then, my, my daughter is just a female version of him, like, and it's so creepy. So, it, it was just like, he looks like, hold up, 
<laughs> you trying to tell me I got another kid out here and then I'm hearing, you know, universe like, keep your head down, keep your head down. He don't need to see your face yet. And I'm just cracking up laughing. Like, what the heck is going on here? You know? And that's, you know, he was really like racking his head. Like, I did not sleep with this woman. I don't understand why this kid looks like me. <laughs> you know, he was really going off and you can hear the universe up there cracking up laughing. Like, he don't know this yet. He don't know. And then next thing you know, he, he they were like, okay, Rosalind, you can raise your face up. And I guess that was like his blessing after, you know, going through that transition because it was like he died in April and this was like September 23rd, 23rd or 24th of 2016. And they were like, Rosalind, you can raise your face up now. And it's just a sad situation. My dad, with me growing up, my, my adopted parents, my adopted father and my stepmom always tried to make sure my dad never knew what I was looking like growing up because he would have been able to find me. Like, they wouldn't even connect with me on Facebook. I was just like, why are you connected with my kids and keep, you know, blocking me from Facebook? And I never knew that I was putting two and two together because then he would have been able to find me. So, uh, next thing, you know, I raised my face up and then my dad started looking and he looked at me again and all of a sudden he was like, <gasps> Baby, baby, <laughs> was like, and I mean, my dad was ugly crying. I was like, ugh, I never knew a pretty man could look that ugly when they cry. But he was like, leave me alone. And they were like telling him, hey, you know, and I didn't realize he had me astro project just to meet him. And it was like so weird, but it was a very emotional union. They were like, uh-uh, you can't touch her. And he was like, baby, I just always knew that you were so beautiful. You were so beautiful and you look just like me. You know, and I was like, hey, daddy. And in the back of my mind, oh, my God, I got Prince standing up in my living room. Oh, my God. I, I mean, that's the whole process. So I had a shocked look on my face. And it was like, if anybody could have seen that situation, they would have been busting out laughing. Because you see him acting like, you know, Claire Huxtable from the... Uh, you know, from Bill, from the Bill Cosby show. And I'm just standing here in shock. Like, I can't believe I have Prince standing in my living room. I can't believe I have Prince standing in my living room. He's like, baby, baby. And it was just really crazy that I was able to astral project like that. So it was like, we had that union and it was just so beautiful. And I couldn't be able to really communicate with him the way I wanted to until we got to the dreamland until that night. So it's just like so many times when I notice that you're probably doing it as well when you meditate or when you get to that level of euphoria, you are astral projecting. A lot of times we do it in our sleep where sometimes you don't remember it, but you know your dream was off on a wild level. Now, since we are upgrading towards everything now, our sleep realm is going to a different dimension, like at a different level. So a lot of times when you wake up, you can't remember it. That's the reason why you're doing astral projection. You're probably doing lucid dreaming as well. I keep on hearing universe say lucid dreaming. So you're probably, you know, experiencing all these things at the same time. So if you're finding yourself doing things that, you know, you might question it if you don't understand how the astral projection works, <laughs> that's mainly because you're astral projecting. So you need to go ahead and look that up. But if you're having these experiences, knowing that you're, you're like going to that next, you know, ascending to that next level. And it is just like a beautiful feeling, especially if I know I can go there and meet my father. It is always a blessing. You know, if you probably lost a loved one, sometimes you might be able to do that that way and be able to talk to him in that realm. So if you've been experiencing these things, knowing, you know, you have to go through, you, you're able to go through that. And I don't know if it's a must that you had to go through that, but some of you might be experiencing that. So, you know, if that's what they're, they're telling me that, you know, go ahead and put this out and let them know that they might have been going through that. So shoot y'all, shape shifting, jumping portals or open, portals are up and, and jump, up and opening up a okay. gate. And it's just like, you know, y'all not jumping through different dimensions. You're going through 4D, you know, 3D to 4D to probably 5D. You know, we're just going through a lot of different changes right now. So knowing is heading us towards something very big and beautiful. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And, you know, like and subscribe and even hit that notification bell. So, you know, I'm about to upload my next video and I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. Uh, big ups to Averitt. Much love to you, Jesse. Miss Mickey, I'm keeping you in my, my prayers. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Remember, please stop by my uh, daughter's website if you can. Donate anything you possibly can. It will greatly be appreciated. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.